gonna eat the hot pot. It's called Da Long Yi Hot Pot. This is where we're gonna eat today. Da Long Yi Hot Pot. It's on the second floor. I'm super excited because we're super hungry right now and cold. So let's go. Oh, there's a cool dragon here. in China, I used to eat hot pot all the time. Probably once a week in winter just because in the north it's really really cold in winter. Hot pot is a type of food that you love to eat when it's cold weather. There are different flavor profile when it comes to hot pot but this particular restaurant is advertised as Chengdu which is famous for their spicy pot. So the first thing is to choose the hot pot base. There are different types of base. You can do the double pot, you can do the triple pot, or you can just do the one single flavor. I always do the double. One side is not spicy and the other side is spicy. They also have different types of spicy base. The traditional one is with the um, cow fat. I don't necessarily like beef fat, so I decided to get the vegetarian oil based when it comes to the hot oil. But definitely the more traditional one will be the, the beef oil. Alright, now let's check out the food. Usually we get a combination of vegetable and meat products in our hot pot, but Please be advised that the cooking time for each item is totally different. Because you're basically cooking food on your own, make sure that you... Please make sure that the food is fully cooked before you eat anything. Alright, let's dig in! Alright, our hot pot is boiling. This is the tendons. Tendons. I want to say these are the gizzards. That is the shrimp paste. That is the lotus root, the taro, the cheese beef meatballs, my sauce, some seaweed, enoki mushrooms, and black fungus. For this particular restaurant, I do think they prepared all the ingredients pretty professionally. Like the beef tendon is actually pre-cooked. So you're basically just heating it up and getting some flavor. So I like to put it into this ladle with holes and you can just like cook it with it. Like if you're just dumping into the soup, sometimes there's like you can't find it anymore because it would just melt into the soup. So just get tricky sometimes and also when it comes to like vegetables and stuff usually starch takes longer time to cook so i would love to put like the lotus root or like potatoes all the way down to the earth like cook it for like five minutes or more versus like beef tendon or like single sliced beef i don't cook them for a long time because they get overcooked very easily but for food that like meatballs <laughs> My husband actually like fed me like a super raw meatballs because it looks cooked on the outside but it's really raw on the inside. For those food that are not pre-cooked, make sure that you check them before you eat them. Usually meatballs take longer time just because you know it's bigger and denser and it's just harder for the heat goes all the way into the center of the meatballs. I don't know if the tendon is ready. I really like the beef tendon and it's really good when it's spicy but be careful don't overcook the beef tendon or it will just melt in the pot it's, it's not cooked this guy is not professional hot pot this guy just served me raw beef because meatballs they're bigger it's harder to cook inside versus like the sliced beef it's easier How the shrimp goes is that you use this one and this is basically a shrimp meatball and you just put it in here. So eating hot pot is basically cooking for yourself. One way to know if something is like authentic is to see like if how they prepare their special meat. Like if they have the shrimp paste, do they have like the special gizzards and like how they prepare those things? Like not just like regular sliced beef and vegetables. So I do want to say their shrimp paste is pretty amazing. Shrimp balls? 
I think the shrimp, shrimp ball is like super tender. The shrimp taste is really, really tender, and because like it's, it's basically shrimp but not shrimp. It's like they paste it. Yeah, and then they make it super tender. It's kind of like shrimp meatball but better, and they cook really, really fast. The taro, it's super soft. Okay, hey guys, this is the taro. Basically, with taro, you can eat it sweet or salty. Or spicy in this case, and I really like this one. Alright, guys, this is what the shrimp looks like. It's super tender and full of flavor. Two more taro strips. This is how do you get these things right here? And since tanda is pre-cooked, you just put it in here. Just put it right here. I want to say the tendon is probably the best. My favorite among all of these things. To wait until it's boiling again and then put things in. Like if you feel like it's not boiling, then you take a moment and then like allow the pot to cook whatever you already put in. That's the key with like hot pot. You can't just like put in everything at the same time. Let's put the gizzard in. These are I think the chicken gizzard. If you see the hot pot is boiling too much and the water gets low or the soup gets low, the waiter you will usually come to add some more soup or water base. But if you see like the hot pot is not boiling at all, um, just withhold anything you want to put in there. Make sure it's boiling again to like keep the internal heat high enough so that it will cook the food really fast. All right, let's try the gizzard. It's pre-cut to very small thin pieces, but it's still like a big enough chunk. It's pretty cool. It's a little bit chewy on the paste at the bottom. Oh, did I forget to tell you? Usually when we eat hot pot, we don't just eat it right from the pot. We usually dip it into the sauce. So the traditional hot pot sauce is made with sesame paste and peanut butter and a little bit of like onion, cilantro, like some other like spicy oil or things like that. But the main base is basically sesame paste and peanut butter and some salt. And it's really creamy and it's like a little bit salty and it's just like overall very good combination of texture and flavor. And of course you get the flavor from the soup base as, as well. The taro thing is ready again. Dip into the sauce. This is perfect for cold weather. There's also this cool beef thing that I think it's pretty cool. We didn't order it because I don't think we can finish all of these, but our neighbor ordered these and it looks pretty cool. Overall, I do think this restaurant looks pretty big for a New York City restaurant and it's located in Chinatown. The dining environment is pretty cool and we saw some pictures of some diners and one of them said, I came all the way from Texas and I was like, wait, that's us. We finished our hot pot. Overall, what do you think? That was pretty good. Solid 8.5. 8.5, but it was quite expensive. Like it was like $130. It was like $112 on top of that. We paid like $20 tips. So it's like $130. So I think it's just a little bit expensive for what we got, but it tasted pretty good. My favorite was actually the beef tendon. And his favorite was the cheese. Cheese beef ball. Yeah, the and shrimp were good too. The shrimp taste was really good too. And I love the taro. Like I think the taro chunks were really good too. So overall, I do think it's a really good place. There are different types of hot pot. This one, that's definitely New York pricing because I think when we went to Toronto, we definitely get like a better deal. We have price. Yeah, because it's Canada, it's Toronto. So New York is like more expensive. But I would say like if you're around in the city, we definitely recommend this hot pot spot. I found it because of Fun Bros. So it didn't disappoint. So I really liked it. I ate so, 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 so much. It's definitely on the pricier side. But if you just eat one meal, a day this is a meal like you won't disappoint and i like the fact that they have like the half and half pot we got the vegetarian pot but like normally people would get the beef oil pot the beef oil tastes a little bit better but it's more dense and more saturated fat so what do you think yep tastes good tastes I'm good on to the next one